when we see the structure of DNA polymerase, it resembles a hand. The structural studies on DNA polymerases reveal that the DNA substrate sits in a large cleft that resembles a partially closed hand. So, uh, you know, DNA polymerase, the substrate of DNA polymerase is DNA. And this DNA resides in a partially closed hand. So, DNA is present uh, here and this polymerase is just like this. This is just like a partially closed right hand. Uh, based on this hand analogy, the uh, three domains uh, are present in the DNA polymerase and these three domains can, uh, we can say these three domains as thumb, fingers and palm. So in a DNA polymerase enzyme, these three domains are present. One is thumb, the other domain is palm and the third domain is finger. So these fingers, thumb and palm, all these domains play important role in the working of DNA polymerase. So here in this uh, diagram, you can see this is the three-dimensional uh, structure of uh, uh, DNA polymerase. It has three domains. One domain, this resembles with this thumb. The other domain is uh, this, uh, this domain, which resembles the palm and the third domain is uh, this domain which resembles the fingers or in other figures you can see this is thumb this is palm and these are fingers so uh, this dna this dna resides in this cleft or uh, the, in this palm so this is uh, the structure of uh, dna polymerase and it resembles a hand the palm domain, let us see the working of these uh, three domains. The palm domain is composed of a beta sheet. And you know about the beta pleated sheet uh, in the structure of proteins. So this palm domain, uh, this is composed of a beta sheet and contains the primary elements uh, of the catalytic site. You know, in the active site of the enzyme, there is one binding site and one catalytic site. So this palm uh, contains the uh, primary elements of the catalytic site of DNA polymerase. This region of DNA polymerase binds two divalent metal ions. So two divalent metal ions, either magnesium or zinc, they are present in this domain, in the palm of the DNA polymerase. One metal ion reduces the affinity of the 3 prime hydroxyl for its hydrogen. So uh, the affinity at 3 prime end, the affinity between oxygen and hydrogen, this affinity is reduced by one metal ion because you know uh, this has to attack on the beta uh, on the alpha phosphate of the incoming nucleotide. This generates a 3 O 3O oxygen that is primed for the nucleophilic attack of the alpha phosphate of the incoming DNTP. So to prime this uh, 3 prime end, this metal ion works. The second metal ion coordinates with the negative charges of the beta and gamma phosphates of the DNTPs. That is when these uh, two phosphates or pyrophosphate it releases this metal ion, it coordinates with the negative charges present on this pyrophosphate uh, and uh, stabilizes the pyrophosphate produced by joining the primer and the incoming nucleotide. You know, uh, when incoming nucleotide joins with the primer, this pyrophosphate is released. So this second metal ion stabilizes this pyrophosphate. In addition to its role in catalysis, the palm domain also monitors the base pairing of the most recently added nucleotides. As you know, uh, the base pairing is very important in DNA replication. So this palm domain, this palm domain uh, not only catalyzes the uh, addition of nucleotides, rather it also monitors the base pairing of the incoming nucleotides.